time in YouTube and welcome back to another CBA match. Today we are taking on Jacob and the San Diego Charizards. And this is hopefully going to be a pretty exciting match. I've got a different kind of team than I'm used to playing, so will it be a factor in today's match? I don't know. Um, for those of you who are aware, yes, I missed saying it in the last video, but it was a team builder. Most people don't watch it. Um, I've actually been sick for weeks, so unfortunately, as you guys saw, there was no content last week. Um, I had a cold in the throat, so as much as I felt healthy and I was able to go out and do things, I could not talk. Um, I, you guys could probably hear it in the CBA battle from last week. Uh, I had very poor vocal cords, so I thought, why make videos when they're just going to be pathetic quality? So, unfortunately, we are going to start, well, unfortunately we had nothing for you guys last week. But, we are going to be trying to get back on track. It was good for me anyway, because Go launched in Canada. I was able to do a whole bunch of stuff with that. And yada yada yada. It was a good time. But, now is the time for a battle, and I'm about to go for that except. Here we go! Can we get three straight wins? Time to play! So, our opponent brings a lot of threats. Um, does not bring anything that I didn't really prepare for too much, so that is good to see. Um, I'm expecting the Charizard lead here. Uh, so I might lead Ramu. Now, again, I need Jolteon quite a bit for the Milotic, the Swampert, the Charizard. I think Ramu is the best play, and expect a Hidden Power Grass. Should I expect the hidden paragraphs? Or should I go into Mew? Nothing is too bad on the Mew, so I'm gonna probably start with Mew. Let's go Azir. Goes into Mudfish, which is beautiful. Uh What are you going to do? You are going to go for the Stealth Rocks. So I want to go for the knockoff. We got rid of an expert belt. Stealth Rocks is what we got played. We're going to go for a defog here. As he probably goes for a switch or an earthquake. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, that might have been a misplay. No, he switches. Goes into Charizard. We get a defog off. Which is fantastic. Um, I want to go for a thunder wave. Paralyze this guy. I got Will-O-Wisp, which is... Can't do it because their opponent's already paralyzed, which is fine. Um, I can go for a knockoff here. Or I can go in a, in a Kaze. What would be the better play here? My opponent switched out, which is fine by me. I can get rid of the item. I'm going to get rid of the item. A knockoff will come. I don't really care too much about the damage output, but if I can get rid of a ton of, uh, get rid of the, whoop, ah, things are knocking over. Uh, if I can get rid of the item, it'll be perfect. Uh, again, I have the, oh, he switches out into the Gracia, which means I get rid of the leftovers, which is beautiful. Yes, I get burned, but I have the ability to switch here. I am faster. Yes, it's super effective question is, what do I want to go into? I think my best bet is to actually go into Jack, expecting the grass type move. Aromatherapy cures my opponent's paralysis, which is a great play. Uh, I do want to go for the Will-O-Wisp here, uh, getting the ability to burn this thing. We'll do some recuperating damage at least, or recuperating, it'll do some damage over time. It'll put a dot on it. Let's say a dot. That, that's the best way to put it. A dot. Um, though my opponent might switch into the Charizard, which would be a downer. Which means I might want to go for the Rock Slide. Great thing about Showdown. I can make a prediction. So, what is his call? His The way I'm seeing it for him, he would switch into Charizard here. Yes, he's slower, but he is a powerful Charizard. Goes to the Charizard! Bam! We called it! Um, you are definitely faster than me, my friend. So, we do need to switch out here. 
but into who? Into who are we switching? He popped a citrus, so he has no item left. Which is fine. We've got three Pokemon without an item right now. I'm specially bulky? No, I'm physically bulky. And all I've seen off of you is Will-O-Wisp? Let's do the play and go into Inakaze. It's, it's a predictable switch. Flare Blitz does nothing. Does nothing. Alright. My play is expecting him to switch. I want to go for a roar and get him out of the sp There we go. Goes into Swampert. We roar him out into Altaria. I get to see what he is. I'm going for an Ice Beam here. Birds of Paradise it is. Will we be seeing a switch? I would switch. This is not the best time for Birds of Paradise to be setting up, knowing that I have Roar. He does Mega Evolve. I go for an Ice Beam. Moon Blast. I am specially defensive, but my special attack does go down. That is fine. Uh, I am not faster. I have nothing to knock this thing out. I want to go for a rest here. Expecting him to go for another Moon Blast. It is faster than me now. He switches! Alright, we get the rest. We're fully HP'd up. I get to wake up. And this is the time I think I'm going into Jack. I'm going into Jack. Hidden Power. Nothing. That is the way to go. I don't know what hidden power that was, but we are going to get... Do I predict the Charizard one more time? He should not switch into it. In fact, I believe he's not going to. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp. If I get the Mudkip burned, that's great. It's going to be a lot less damage that I have to worry about. Um, I am surprised to see the hidden power. Most of the time, Swampert does go physical, but you never know. Here goes a burned mud kit, a mudfish, which is great for me. Great for me. Um, would I have been able to take that thing out? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we would have taken that thing out for sure. But I'm trying to play safe. Uh, now is the time to go for the seed bomb. Let's go for the seed bomb now. Switches into the Milotic as it takes a seed bomb. Um, now, Jack isn't too necessary for the uh, Altaria now. Uh, Jack will be the answer I have for the Shaman. So, I'm going to go into Inukaze here. That is the play I'm going to make. Goes for the Protect and fails. That was a good play of mine to get it out. Uh, I will be going for the Ice Beam. Let's go for Ice Beam. Resisted. Got a little bit more damage off on me. And he got the burn. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. If I had Stealth Rocks, this roar would be great, but it's not doing the best. What do I do? Skull's not going to do too much, and if I risk the burn chance, he might be able to go back into Shaman and heal it off. Most of my mons are starting to get burned, which is not good. Um, I'm specially defensive, so I'll go into Azir, knock off that leftovers. 
he went into the grace, which is fine by me. I can go for the U-turn here. Switch out, and this time... I'm gonna go back into Jack. It's the best play I have. Aromatherapy, everybody is cured of their burns and statuses. This time, what do I want to expect? I'm going for the rock slide. We'll go for the rock slide, see if we can catch that Charizard off guard. Uh, I did change up the moves last time, I went for the Will-O-Wisp, this time I'm going to go for the rock slide. Doesn't pay off, um, but it'll do some damage. Now thankfully, uh, I can Will-O-Wisp my own opponent here, it's not going to mean too much. If he does want to Will-O-Wisp me, it's not the end of the world. And I'm not too threatened by Ditto. In the sense of changing into my Gorgeist. Um, yes, I have a pretty weak grass immunity now that I'm looking at it between Dodfan and Suicune. But if I can get my Mew in and knock off, that might be great because I can get rid of the Choice Scarf. He switches, goes into the Mud Fish, which is now burned again. I wasn't too threatened by it. And we are going for the Seed Bomb. Can we knock out Mudfish? No, he switches one more time into Grace. Get a little bit of damage off there. And, uh... We're going back and forth here. I need to make a play. We need to make a play. This thing is starting to dwindle down, though. I don't think there's anything you can do to me. So I'm going to go for a Rock Slide. Your team is cured again of the burns, which is fine. Uh, taking another 16% there. And we are going to go for the Rock Slide. We're going to go for the Seed Bump. Switch it up. Goes for the Synthesis. Alright, this is a long, long drawn out game here. I need to make a play. Who is he switching into? Who's he switching into? I plan to go for Rock Slide. Switches, goes into the Birds of Paradise. This is going to do 16%. I don't want to be in here. Um, I am a Salt Vest. I might be able to eat one hit from this thing. We're gonna go into Luxodon. I'm gonna take a risk. Dragon Pulse. Going for the Gunk Shot. I reveal it, but it's not the end of the world. I get a poison, which is fine. Um, I am not fast in this thing, though. And for that, I do want to get out of there. I'm going to safely go into Jack. Goes for the skull. Does not bother me. Um, poison will bring it down to seven. And at this point, I'm going to go for a rock slide because it'll knock out the mudfish or... He brings in the Charizard, and we knock out a Pokemon regardless! Beautiful. Okay, Jack, you get to knock out a Charizard. Gorgeist getting a kill! Gorgeist is putting in a ton of work. He's only taken 7% damage so far. Yeah, yeah, I know. Leftovers recovery, but still. Doesn't matter. Uh, Birds of Paradise has come in. You are Dragon Fairy.
I want to go for the Seed Bomb. Hidden Power doesn't do a whole lot. It is resisted. Um, I'm going to go for a Rock Slide here. Oh, jeez. Risking the Biscuit there is not a smart play. It is not a smart play. Let's go right into Inakaze this time. Saving our Gore guys, getting the opportunity to uh, heal up. Uh, I might be losing my Inukaze here. I think it's faster. I think it can do the damage. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam to try and get it knocked out, though. If I can knock out this Mega Altaria, that is fine. We are apparently faster! I am fine with this. Um, I need to get this thing out so I can rest up. Uh, Jack can come in. Seed Flare. Missed! Oh! I am going for the Synthesis here. Seed Flare does not enough to knock me out as I do get Jack pretty full again. Um, I think it is time to go for another Synthesis here. I am immune to Leech Seed. That was a misplay. My opponent must be struggling on his end. Um, Jack literally walls his entire team at this point. Uh, I just need to get in and knock out this Grease. Uh, and the only one really to do it is Dawn Fan. It is naturally faster than me regardless though. Uh, Seed Flare is physical as well, so I don't want to do that. I'm going for a Will-O-Wisp at this point. Comes into the Milotic, gets burned. Which is fine by me. Um, do I risk it? No. I can't risk it. Azure at this point isn't necessary. I might be able to get the leftovers off here. I am alright. I should be faster than Milotic. I should be able to take off the leftovers here which is exactly what I'm going to do. Get rid of those leftovers. He doesn't need it. And we're going to try and U-turn out here. Let's U-turn. Switches is a beautiful play for us. Um, we can go right back into Jack here. Do we go into Jack or do I go into Judy? I think I go into Judy this time. And I'm going to... I have physical wall jack that can completely wall me, which is beautiful. No, it can't because of the scrappy, but even still, I'm going to go for the fake out. Does a fair bit, flinches my opponent's grace. I want to go for the substitute. I expect the switch here. I want to call the substitute. Does not switch. What do you do? Aromatherapy? Oh, I got a free substitute up. This is good. This is really good. Um, I want to go for a return. Which knocks out Grace. Thank you. <sighs> Ditto does not change due to the substitute. Uh, we'll go for the drain punch. We're going to knock out Ditto. Thank you, Lopany. Proving that the substitute was the best play here. Can we 6 0 our friend Jacob? Currently, my Lotic is in. Uh, I'm going to go for the return here because I do believe it's going to do more damage and I don't need to heal right now. That's a lot of damage. Scald breaks my substitute, but a return will knock out the Milotic. And it is just down to the Swampert left. Can we knock it out? I think so. I think we're faster. That is going to be the game. We 6 0. Jacob. Wow. What a game. It was a little bit stall at the beginning, I admit, but we ended up getting ourselves into a situation where we could use Jack to the momentum. Um, with us having such a grass weak team, having Jack was huge because it stopped Shaman from doing what it wanted to do. And we ended up being able to wall the Milotic and the Swampert. I was a little surprised to see both the Milotic and the Swampert. Um, now, as to misplays, 
I'll have to admit, maybe staying in a couple times with Jack didn't give me the momentum I may have needed, but I don't know what to say. Um, if there were any misplays that I can't see, because I just can't remember them off the top of my head, let me know, because I'm trying to get better. So if you think there was a play that I could have, you know, done something else and it would have benefited me, um, let me know. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, and I'll see you guys later. But until then, time out.